The Home of Light Islamic Basic School in the Upper West Region was founded in 2015 as an orphanage. The school presently has a population of 200 people with staff strength of 20. It had relied solely on donor funds to operate with Ikra Foundation for Education and Development being the main sponsor since its inception. For some time now, sponsorship for this inmate at the school has dwindled significantly as the needs of the children as well as utility bills being an issue which compels management to improvise other sources to cater for these children and staff which they say is greatly impacting academics. How to maintain sponsoring these offers, their food, their education, uh, teaching materials and even payment of teachers. So I think uh, since that has been the main challenge of uh, the school, the school has been trying to transition between just being uh, an orphanage to kind of taking non offers people that will come to the school uh, for the day school program so that they will pay school fees so that we will be using that resources to help maintain the orphans in the uh, boarding uh, uh, school session. School administrator Ruwefa Abdul Hadi on the aspect of staff retention has this to say. We always have new staff all the time how to maintain and the kind of pay you know so that has always been the challenge the new faces of staff when they you come the next day someone have to replace and and for children need one person in a classroom that have to take them through uh, uh, teaching and also a uh, day-to-day kind of upbringing of of an orphan noting the crisis faced by the school sharaf mahama son of former president john draman mahama to mark his 27th birthday extended a hand to the school by giving teaching and learning materials including food staff to management i am very glad to stand on behalf of all staff to give these items to the management i would like to also thank the headmaster for how how far he has molded our children Former Ghana ambassador to Mali, Mahmoud Khaled, is equally worried about the situation and called for the highlight of the issues for support. And I think this will highlight the importance of this institution to Ghana and probably beyond. So that people who are mindful of the transformation of the youth can come to the aid of this institution. If you look at the diversity of children that you have here, to transform, they come from diverse backgrounds. Sustainable Development Goal 4, which seeks to ensure inclusive and equitable quality education and promote lifelong learning opportunities for all by 2030. As the deadline approaches, it means Kwame Nkrumah's Ghana will need to work extra hard to be able to attain this goal. Ibrahim Wangara, TV3 News, WAH.